What's up guys, it's Candyman and I'm back and I got another video here for you guys today of a uh, two-tone job. We're gonna be shooting this bedside a tailgate and this back cover for the tailgate here. And this one's got a two-tone on it. Silver at the bottom and uh, darker, kind of a medium blue at the top, almost a dark blue, but we'll shoot this one here today. And uh, now that we're getting a lot of these older cars that are staying alive, we're actually having to do a lot more of these two-tones because you guys know the two tones were kind of an older style and uh, they're kind of outdated. But let's go ahead and shoot this one today and uh, two tone it. sealed and I went with a medium gray that way it's in between both colors because I'm gonna be shooting the bottom of this with a silver so this color works well with the top and it'll work well with the bottom so I went ahead and did that that way it'll save me on coverage for both colors so we got it sealed up we'll let this dry and we'll start doing the bottom because the two-tone runs from here down so I always do my I always do my lower color first that way I can mask it off a lot easier than trying to go from there up. So a lot of guys will do the uh, based on the colors they'll tell you oh do this color because it dries quicker and mask it the other way. I always mask I do the bottom then I mask it off and then I do the top no matter what because I don't see that big of a difference in each color for drying. So let's let this dry. We'll go ahead and start silver in the bottom of this. of the silver down and that's ux we went with the chip one and we'll let that dry we'll put another coat and then we'll start masking it up for the uh, two-tone for the top and we're using a 3m gun with a one two in it i like the way the silvers work with that one two gun so let's go ahead and uh let that set up a minute tape it up because I don't have to worry about model or anything down low like that so let's go ahead and let it flash and we'll start masking it up so I'm over here now just checking to see where the actual uh, two-tone goes to and it's not on this bend it's a little bit further down so we'll make sure we get that in the right spot but this is kind of an easy one because they give you this body line and uh, you don't have to worry about really leveling it out too much so it wraps around the front Let's go check out the back, see how it looks. Same thing here, comes along this line here and just kind of wraps around a little bit here. So, 
nothing too complicated on this one but the biggest thing is letting this base dry so that way we can take to it so i'm going to turn the heat up a little bit being i got heat and make sure it's dry good before i start fine lining it all right we're going to start running the uh, fine line now I got my tape up here with my paper and I'll show you, I always put the wax side to the paint. The shiny side of your paper, if you got that kind of paper, do that because it's less fibers sticking into your base. And I like this half inch fine line. It's a lot better than the smaller one. And just make sure you hold this, get this tucked up. Because a lot of times that overspray will blow all over the place. Make sure your base is dry for sure. Come in and check it. That's all that you do. That's how I do it. Make sure you get this... Uh, tightened up that way it doesn't have any overspray on it and i went ahead and did this in two separate sections but when you're running when you have a car and you don't have a line take it from one end and run it right through the middle of the wheelhouse that way you can get it level so we didn't need to do that on this one because this is two separate spots with body lines on it so we're going to go ahead and tack this back off Make sure we don't have any uh, dust on it from sticking the, the paper to it. And then we'll start putting the blue on. And I always like to run my tack rag over the tape. Make sure it's stuck down and it'll pick up any lint that may be in between the uh, tape and the body of the vehicle. So go ahead and do that. Same thing here, run it along it. It'll push it down. Let's start blowing it. coat one we'll put one more on it make sure we're covered and then drop it then we'll pull our uh, fine line and paper and clear this one so this is how I do my two tones and I just figured I'd show you guys how I do it I always do the bottom first because it's less masking that way so do what's best for you maybe this will help you and uh, just wanted to show you guys how I do it because I don't think I've showed you guys a two-tone job so Let's let this, let this set up and flash off. All right, so we're checking for coverage. These blues can sometimes uh, be a little funny if you don't have the right ground coat on them. So I went with that medium gray and that one there will work well with this color. So we got coverage on it. We're gonna go ahead and do a drop coat and then we'll be unmasking the bottom of this and uh, clearing it. So let's go ahead and let this dry, turn the lights back on, drop it and then we'll clear it. All right, 
so that was the drop coat and I'm about 15 inches from the panel and I'm spraying at 12 psi with the 3m gun with a 1.4 in it so we're just looking for a uniform nice coat to level out the metallics and that way we don't have any blotches or streaks when we pull this out so we're all dropped we'll go ahead and pull this paper and then we'll clear it with the dv1 so stay tuned let's unwrap it real quick make sure you go easy make sure your base is dry and pull it nice and easy i'm going to go ahead and unwrap it now and then we'll be clearing this one Now I'm going to go ahead and tack that edge. I always tack the edge of the uh, two-tone off because you'll see it has a little bit of a edge on it. But once you tack it, it'll lay it right down. that's one coat that line laid out nice on there after you tack it it really makes a big difference if you tack that edge off so i recommend tacking the edge of the uh, two-tone no matter what you're doing it on and it definitely lays it down especially with this water base so we got one coat on everything and we're going to go ahead and put one more on it and i'll show you the whole job finished up definitely got a nice factory f-150 ford peel and that's what i was aiming for on this one so they got a bigger peel and a nicer kind of more of a big peel to it so that's what we got and the two-tone came out nice so i hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for the videos of the cutlass coming up the blocks are going to be here today and we're going to be blocking that thing out in the next video for the uh, cutlass. So stay tuned and see you next time.